welcome again with this session we are going to discuss practical number 13 and 14 to implement a window application to perform validation on different controls practical significance of this experiment is to deal with error provider or error provider control and the regular expression methods constructors used to validate user information user inputs so let's begin with how you can use a regular expression control and error provider control to validate user information relevant POs as basic knowledge discipline knowledge experiment and practice engineering tool and communication what competency level you will achieve at the end of this experiment you will be able to design and define vb application for the use of regular expression and error provider control in vb.net application <coughs> so directly i'll move to the minimum theoretical background required to execute this application very first we are going to use error provider control this control allows you to show error message icon when user enters some invalid input. See, as you are going to store user information as a part of database, you need to store your data in a specific format. If user supplies information in invalid format, then there will be a problem to store your information as a database, as well as there will be a problem to manipulate over your data. So initially it is necessary to validate the quality of data and to validate quality of data, we use error provider control and regular expression together from which regular expression allows you to display message on screen to indicate user you entered invalid data. So set error method is specifically used to show the error on screen. Whereas regular expression plays a very important role to identify <coughs> the correctness of data to quality of data. A regular EX class provides a regular expression. We can define the various categories of regular expressions such as characters, operators, constructs. We can use the following method to define a regular expression as public function is match. If you want to compare your data with a particular pattern, we use is match method is match with two parameter as a string and integer. It will give you return value as a Boolean. Third factor, third function is a shared function. Fourth function matches. If you want to match a particular data with multiple patterns, you just go with matches method and replace method if there is a match find out or if there is an invalid entry of user we are going to replace invalid entry with some proper data so with the help of this function we can compare user input with a particular regular expression pattern so what are the different patterns on how you can identify the quality of data with the help of expression you can find out the quality of data this expression a, B, C in square bracket represent find any character between brackets. Whatever may be user supplied inside or user input inside, it should be is of type character. Next, find any character not between the brackets. See, any characters. If user input a value with A, B, and C is invalid data because we are going to accept a character not between the brackets. Next, 0 to 9, it represents only digit value only not uh, find any character not between the brackets it indicates that your input should be free from any digit with respect to this pattern your input should be digit type of and with this pattern we are going to specify that your input free from digit value last pattern represent find any alternative specified here there should be x or y so with the help of this pattern, we are going to compare user input with particular pattern. If there is a match found, 
we are going to accept data if there is a mismatch found we are going to display message on screen with error provider to correct data input so these are some simple patterns directly i'll go to the program to perform validation using error provider control and regular expression so that you will understand how you can use these two components together to identify the quality of data so let's go for sample program sample program is ready with me simply we are going to discuss as this application is a window type of application experiment 13 underscore 14 sample program in this two component name and age is of type label see here it is label one and label two represents name and age text box control text box one is to input name from user age text box two used to input age from user there is a submit button and there is one more hidden component is here the component which is not available at runtime is added inside called as error provider if you search here error provider that's the component hidden it's like timer control with respect to your experiment number two it's not available at runtime so that's the design part of application let's go to the syntax of very first as we are going to use a regular expression to match or to <coughs> verify the quality of data it is necessary to include system dot text dot regular expression package inside a regular expression is a class actually system dot text is a package includes a regular expression class that's a very important statement you need to include next step i'm going to define two pattern variable dim regex as new regex i'm going to define pattern is any character in between small a to z and capital a to z i'm going to accept only input in this format if it includes small a to z or capital a to z other input i am going to skip or i'm other input i'm going to consider as an invalid input so that's the regex pattern second regex pattern it only represents the value in the form of 0 to 9 so next factor compare the value inside if value inside text box one and text box two is present then and then only i'm going to compare with pattern if value is not present with i'm going to display message on screen as please fill your info whenever user fill info inside text one and text two if not regex dot match regex is a small a to z capital a to z not matches with text one dot text if there is a problem with comparison of if there is a problem with pattern of value inside text box one and regex it will gives you yes there is a mismatch if there is a mismatch i'm going to indicate with the help of set provider set error method to the text box one that's the pointer where i'm going to display icon of error icon at particular text box please enter alphabetic characters only next i'm going to specify focus over text box one clear the value inside what are maybe value filled by user inside text box one is invalid so i'm going to clear it and focus is diverted to text box one so that user can input value at that's the comparison of a value bounded with your text box one if it's okay if what are maybe regex you are you are specifying here matches with your input it's it's not true right now because you compare your value with particular pattern we are going to compare if not next if it is if your input is in the boundary of small a to z and capital a to z you just go to the else part of next again i am going to compare the value inside text box 2 if value into text box 2 matches with the regex pattern regx1 and it indicates that a value should be in the form of 0 to 9 if it is in 0 to 9 then the value is okay 
I'm going to display matches on screen as message box show. If it is not matches with, see not matches with, I'm going to display error provider dot set error at text box to please enter numbers only. So focus on to clear the values of it. Let's run this application and check how exactly a regular expression helps you to check quality of data. If user is trying to input a value, name as one, two, three, four, it's not a valid name. So when user clicks to this, first of all, you need to fill all the values. I'm going to specify ADF value to age and two, three, four, five value to the name part of. When you click here, initially you will get icon here with message as, please enter alphabetic characters only because you specified wrong value here. As well as you specify value at, you will get error here. Please enter numbers only. There is no problem here, but problem is here with. So you need to specify number only. As well as you specify a right data inside name and age column, you will get message on screen as done. It's okay. So that error provider control and regular expression helps you to identify the quality of data, validity of data. So that's the sample program. Let's go to the next part of <clears throat> practical related question experiment number 13 and 14 and list the different types of constructors or constructs used for regular expression. They specify here to list the different types of constructs. I'll provide answer of this question as a part of WhatsApp group. So let's go to the Second question asked here, write a program code to perform date validation using error provider control. With the help of error provider control and regular expression, we are going to validate the pattern of date. So it's a program you need to execute it. Let's go for open project. Experiment number 13, 14, practical related question. Go to the design part of what it includes. It includes one label as DOB, one text box with empty value, one button to represent submit action. Error provider control as it is. When user clicks to this, <coughs> Initially, I'm going to define a regex for identifying date format. And for this, we are going to use class regular expression inside. Next factor, dim regex as regex of value in between. Series, I'm going to specify a date format in this factor. That's the regular expression pattern represents a date in the format of DDMM and YY format. So very first day is in between one to nine. If there is a one to nine, we are going to add suffix zero. Next month, last month is 12. So there may be a combination from zero one to zero nine or one zero or one 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 two. Next days format up to 31 and year format in YYY structure. So with the help of this expression, you can define debt in DD format, month in MM format and year in YY format. So let's run this application and verify what happen if you provide something or date in wrong format. See, you will get error on screen as they will be entered date of birth in the format DDMM and YY format. So let me provide date in the proper format. If you supply here, you will get message on screen as done. So that's the way with which you can validate information or date in VB.net with the help of regular expression and error provider control. So let's go for 
exercise part of it includes two programs one is to identify the correctness of of data inside username and password similarly you can include two programs together because very first application includes username and password second application include mobile number and email id only we are going to change pattern comparison <coughs> other syntax bounded to your both application is similar to each other so let's go for student activity first of experiment number 1314 it includes username password as a label text box 1 text box 2 and submit button error provider control gui as it is only the component we are going to use over is different or is is with different names and different labels change with respect to application only we are going to change a pattern with respect to user name may be a combination in between small a to z capital a to z and password it should include at slash at or hash inside so that's the pattern for your password that's the pattern for user name If value inside text box one, text box two is null, I'm going to display messages on screen as. Please fill your info. Compare value of your text box one. Compare value of your text box two. If everything is okay, display messages on screen as. Done. If there is a problem with pattern one, not one, we are going to display messages on screen as. Enter alphabetic characters only. If there is a problem with password, it should include at slash. hash let's run this application and verify if there is a problem with because this password not includes hash and at hash or at so that's the way with which you can create your experiment number 13 14 exercise number 1 similarly i'll go to the exercise number 2 so a little bit complex pattern is there to verify the email id because email id includes dot it include at even it include dot com extension and to represent this that's the little bit complex pattern which you can identify the correctness of email and that's the correctness of port number what it includes it includes four digit after that there is a dash again digit 3 after that there is a dash again digit 4 other thing of application is that as it is only change is here pattern bounded with or pattern used to identify email id and pattern used to identify phone number inside gui is as it is given email id mobile number c there is a problem with email id if you look at here please enter valid email id abc at gf dot com that's the valid email id right now there is a problem with mobile number four digit then dash three digit then dash again four digit you have to supply phone number in this format then and then only it will be accepted by your application so that's the end of assignment number 2 as well as experiment number 13 14 together it includes three exercise and one sample program just go through this video and complete your experiment number 13 14 thank you